Welcome back to Zakima's Ridge Homestead. In today's video, we're going to do a repair on this old rear blade for our tractor. Hello, and welcome to our channel. We're, we're glad, glad you're, you're here. here. Well, with winter right around the corner, we're going to be using this blade quite a bit to clear snow off the driveway. And we do have a bigger blade for the front of the truck, but when it's only an inch or two, it's a, it's a little bit too much. And even an inch or two is enough to mess up our driveway as steep as it is. So we'll use the tractor with the rear blade to clear off probably anything four inches or less. The problem we're having with this blade, as you can see, there's a lot of slop in this pin. So what we're going to do today, I've ran to the hardware store, picked up this little bushing, which fits our pin quite nicely. We're going to try and drive this bushing inside this, this housing portion here where the pin goes through and see if we can get it to eliminate a lot of this slop. So come on up here closer and I'll show you what I'm going to try and do. Okay, this is the top adjustable portion of the, the blade where the blade spins underneath. You can put the pin in any of these, these holes to angle the blade or turn it around for, for backwards use. Where the pin goes through, you've got a hole in this big plate here and there's a hole in this little extra section that's welded on top and both of those are egg shaped really bad. So these holes here aren't horrible, but all the movement that you're getting is down inside of there. So I'm going to try and take this bushing, run this bushing down inside of here where this pin goes, and then try and weld it in position. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. It's pretty tight. It only goes in just past this edge, and then it gets, it gets tight. So I'm not sure if I can tap it in or if I'm going to have to do a little grinding on it. So let me uh, tinker with this a little bit, and we'll, we'll see what we have to do to get that to go in there. Okay, the first thing I'm going to try, I'm going to take this uh, angle grinder with this carbide burr on it, stick it down in here and try and clean up around the edge of the hole. Um, you might be able to see a little bit on this top hole where the, where the steel is, is kind of mushed up here from uh, being beat back and forth, and it's the same way down inside. So what's happening is when I try and push the bushing in, it's hitting that, that raised portion. I don't want to try and beat the bushing in over top of it and end up getting it stuck and not being able to get it back out because there's nowhere to get in here. So I'm going to try and clean that up first and then see if this bushing will slide in. certainly the trick. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but when I put the bushing in it just fell straight all the way down through. So that, that got the bushing to fit in there. So now let's put the bushing in. We'll use the magnet again. Put the pin through the bushing. Okay. So now I'll just have to try and get get this front section as squared up to the blade as I can and we'll get down in here and uh, try and weld that bushing in position. Okay, I think I got it pretty darn close to square. I measured off of uh, the top edge of the blade out to the front of the A-frame here. And I got just under 23 and a half inches on both sides, so I think it's pretty close. So we'll get the welder down in here and try and get this thing in position. I had my hood set on grind, that's why it wasn't darkening. Try this again. Well, it's 
not perfect, but it's way better than it was. It's probably got, uh, oh boy, half of what was sloppy in there taken up. Now I'm hoping. problem we're having is this portion of the pin is worn from uh, being beat back and forth and the tip of the pin which sticks all the way out the bottom is not worn so it's a little probably bigger diameter than it is up here but it's coming okay, what I was able to do is roll this blade over on its back all the way and use a, a long punch with a hammer come up from underneath and tap this out just took it over to the grinding wheel, took just a just a shave off the tip there. That works fine. So just this bottom piece was swelled up just a hair, or not worn down just a hair, either way you want to look at it. Now that I've cleaned that up just a pinch, pin drops right in. I did take the welder and I was able to tip this a little bit, get down in here and put just a tap of weld on this side of the collar. And then on this side of the collar, you really couldn't see anything, so I didn't bother filming that. But now the pin drops in there just fine, and we've got a lot less slop than we had before. Now I'm debating going back to the hardware store and picking up another one of those collars and welding it up underneath. I'll show you where I'm talking about. Okay, this is all the way underneath the A-frame of the blade. Here's the blade itself. And that's the pin sticking through. And you can see when I rock this back and forth, how the pin moves side to side. So I think if I get another collar and weld another collar right here, that should support it here and here and keep it from flopping back and forth. So I think we'll give that a try. I actually found this bushing that I had purchased for the flail motor repair. So I still had it laying around, and it is the right size. So we'll push that in there, try and get things centered up again. Once again, I'll measure off of this flip up to the top and try and get this as square as possible. Okay, that puts us at about as square as I can get it by measuring. Let's weld this one on. Okay, with two tack welds, we'll make sure the pin comes in and out. does not want to. Okay, well I fought that back and forth a few times, had to pound it out, had to break that off there a couple times and re-tack it. I think I got it where it needs to be now. So we'll put another good tack on this side and see if I can get it to come back out again. It is tight, so it might take a little bit more grinding on the bottom of that pin, because we're, we're good and free right here. Once again, it's when we get to this end where it's not as worn that we have our problem. So let me get a little more tack on this side. And if I can get it out of here, we will go ahead and weld it in solid. Okay, it does come out. It's a little tight here on the bottom. But we're getting loose here. So we'll call this good and uh, just clean up that pin some more once I get it back out. So let's make this weld a little more permanent.
course, one thing that doesn't help, I can only get weld on the one side, which tends to pull that up. So hopefully we can get that pin back out now that it's welded solid. And we'll go ahead and check. Yeah, that's really, really tightened us up as far as our flopping back and forth goes. And the pin does come out. So we'll just clean this up a little bit down here again, and it should work perfectly. Well, there it is, mounted back on the tractor. A little snug, but it does come out. We'll go back in. It's a little snugger on the other holes. I think once I use it a little bit and it bounces back and forth, it'll it'll wear in some. It's quite a bit better. It only has about a half an inch of play in it, which I imagine. Probably brand new blades have at least that much play. So if you have any questions or comments on our, uh, our rear blade repair, it's not perfect by any means, but we used what we had and it made the blade more functional. You can put those questions and comments down below. We appreciate a thumbs up and always please subscribe to our channel. And if you shop at Amazon, be sure and check our Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't cost you a cent more, but it gives the channel back a few cents. Thanks for watching and you have a wonderful day.